there are large number of Indian or Western techniques of healing which may not have scientific data, but they work. And I have a personal experience. Many years ago, my uh, wife developed lower backache. It was intense pain, excruciating pain. As usual, I took her to a neurologist, they did MRI and everything is fine, there is no problem, but poor thing, she was I'm really glad you were not a spinal surgeon, <laughs> otherwise you would have done it <laughs> Then my brother-in-law suggested that uh, I should take her to see a acupuncture specialist. As a doctor, you know, it was a bit embarrassing for me to go to somebody <laughs> and, <laughs> and he didn't have a fancy clinic, I went to his house and he talked to my wife for a few minutes and uh, he made her sleep flat on the floor and Sadhguru, he took, you know, from the, the, the heel, he started pressing on her lower back for ten minutes as I was watching. I'm not exaggerating, she never had the lower back pain ever since. I'll show you thousands and thousands like that. Not, with, not even with any needles, simply. I was so fascinated because he cured my wife and he did something which I couldn't do it for thirty-two years, she was fine <laughs> There are many ways of yes. uh, treating uh, people and as professionals we have to respect all the ways of uh, treating. Definitely, I would say Allopathic system is at its best when there's an emergency. When there is time, definitely other systems are way better if you ask me, in many ways. Particularly, this is something hardly known to people in southernmost part of India, largely in Tamil Nadu, we have what is called a Siddha, Siddha Vaidya. It's a most incredible medical system, so comprehensive. There are over three hundred thousand formulations. I don't think even modern pharmacopoeia has that. Over three hundred thousand formulations elaborately written down. And the fundamental difference between Ayurveda and Siddha is, Ayurveda is herb-based, Siddha is elemental. The only thing is, the skill level that it demands from the doctor is a challenge in modern world. This is something that you have to live, then only it works. The person who administers it is as important as what is administered. Who administers it? You're talking about touch, so who administers it is important, not just what is administered. But the nature of modern medicine is, you write a prescription, some chemist who knows nothing about it gives it and they take it, it's only purely chemical and it works. But when there are chronic ailments, if there is infection, killing it with whatever, you know, chemical bombing it is the way to do it. But when you're generating an illness from within, correcting it from within is most important. If there's an emergency, you have to intervene more aggressively, that's different. But these systems have such a comprehensive knowledge about health and well-being. But the problem is, it needs a lifelong involvement and dedication to become something good with this kind of system. It is not something that you can acquire as a profession and do it. Always it was seen as a sacred duty that you can actually… See, I, I want uh, everybody to think about it and I'm sure many times you're facing this within yourself. It's not… it is not a prescription, it is not a surgery, it is not something. It's a person's life whether he lives or dies. I mean, your existence. <laughs> It's… it's not a… it is not a case, it is not a statistic. For that person, it is the only life that he has. This needs far more deeper attention than just being handled as a profession. I think that sense of dedication and involvement, individual doctors might have grown into it, but still that's not there as a culture, that is not there 
It should not be seen as a profession, that's what I'm saying. Yes, of course, monetary requirements are there, that will happen, that's a different thing. But first of all, it must be seen as a, a certain commitment and a certain privilege that you are able to either end or extend somebody's life is not a small privilege. <laughs>